guys, welcome back to my channel. This video originally was not going to be filmed. I came up with this idea literally 30 seconds ago, but I am graduating today. I have so much nostalgia right now and thoughts going through my head, so I thought I would film a video. I don't have any plan on what I'm going to say, but I feel like it's better if I do this more candidly because I want to express the biggest lesson, I guess, I learned in high school because I feel like what better way to reflect on my entire high school career in one video than on my graduation day. I'm going to be sharing some, hopefully, words of wisdom. Um, this is more so for myself because I feel like if I could tell my past freshman self this information, it would have helped a lot of things. But any of you guys listening, regardless of what age you are, I think this is something really important. I'm going to be talking about the idea of preconceived judgments and honestly high school is all about that I think anyone can attest to that it's really easy to see someone in a classroom setting or to hear gossip through the grapevine or see a snapchat story and automatically assume that someone is a certain way if you guys want some context I've been called stupid an airhead a party crazy person you know, boy crazy I can't be single like there are so many things the list goes on and I think anyone has been called a variety of names behind their back or to their face just off of a small snapshot that people see based on what they see in school or through their friends. It's so incredibly wrong to look at someone that you barely know and already make a judgment about it. The reason why I'm saying this is not to stop doing that because I know that's impossible to ask. I know people aren't going to stop talking about people behind their back or making judgments. That's normal, I guess, even though it's wrong. <laughs> But what I would say is if you're in that situation, understand that it's so irrelevant. And I wish it took me a shorter period of time, but now that I'm graduating, I'm realizing how irrelevant it was and how stupid I was to focus so much on what people thought of me. I'm not talking about my friends. I'm talking about people that used to say these things behind my back that didn't even really know me. I focused so much on that when really I should have just been focusing on enjoying my high school career. It's so easy to jump to conclusions, especially if your friend is going through something and they're talking about how awful this person is when you don't even know them and you don't know their side of the story. But it's better to just take a step back and realize that we're all going through our own things and it's so much better to choose to see the best in people and not worry about what other people think than to focus so much on the negatives. I also used to see the worst in people. I wouldn't talk about it necessarily, but I would always see the worst in not necessarily just people, but also the situation. But senior year especially, I started really just being nice, always, unforgivably kind, regardless of how rude people were to me or how much they hurt me in the past and would always choose to see the best in people. Not only did I have a better image of them, I also had a better experience of my senior year in general because when you're not so worried about what people are doing all the time or complaining about how people are acting, it really translates into how you act too. For a second, I did believe a lot of the things that people used to say and it did hurt. I mean, why wouldn't it? You have to learn to develop thicker skin, I mean that's just a part of growing up. You are so much more than what people think of you and what people say about you. People can say that you're an awful person when they haven't even talked to your face. So my point is that there are just so many things that people can say when they really don't know what they're saying. Summing up to the fact that four years after high school is done, all of this talk about what you are and what you are doing is going to be irrelevant. It really is. No one's going to care what people were gossiping about however many years ago. It's so stupid to be focusing on that right now when there's so much more to be focusing on and I wish I learned that earlier on. For you guys watching this video, I guess I would say always be kind regardless of how rude people are. Always choose to see the best in people and it'll really help your outlook on life. I know it's helped mine. Obviously don't stay in contact with people, you know, if you don't need to. If they were rude to you, there's no reason to stay in contact with them, but there's no reason to have forced negativity on someone. Hopefully you guys got some of what I was saying. I know I'm sort of emotional. I am graduating today, so that probably contributes to it too. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will be sure to see you guys all in my next one. Bye.